action have we got today, David? Oh, I tell you, we got the opening match in here with the Midnight Rockers. Shawn Michaels, Marty Jannetty will be in here. Ricky Nelson and Ken Raper going against them. It should be a fine match to get us underway today. Coming up a bit later, a big team. Max Payne will be teamed with Gary Young. Later on, we'll have T. Joe Kahn teamed with Jimmy Jack Funk. Yeah, they'll be in here, too. Jeff Jarrett teams with Manny Fernandez, the region bull. And later today, we'll introduce you to someone brand new in the area, Sweet Brown Sugar. Yeah, far from being brand new, but he's brand new in our area right. because he's got quite a reputation out of Florida and Texas and a lot of places you'll be meeting Sweet Brown Sugar a little bit later on. want to give you an update right now because of uh, the information a lot of you may not know that... Uh, Anybody I know? <laughs> Uh, wow. Billy uh, actual alert we would know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Travis uh, got incapacitated I guess as a matter of fact he cracked some ribs in a match with uh, Max Payne let's take a look and see exactly how that action took place in there and Billy is going to be laid up and out of action look at Big Max now you're talking 300 pounds off those ropes and Billy Travis laying flat out there in the canvas and unfortunately Billy, uh, who's taken many a rough lick, but that one uh, put him down for a little while, so Billy will be out of action for a while. I can understand why. What a yeah. big son of a gun mm -hmm. that pain is. Okay, we got the World Tag Team Champions, the Midnight Rockers, coming out in just a moment. be in the ring here in just a moment with the AWA World Tag Team Champions, Marty Jannetty, Shawn Michaels, and here they come to the ring wearing their World Tag Belts. Uh, I need to tell you that they are now the former Southern Tag Champs as the AWA has removed those belts on the ruling that they can't hold two sets of belts. First of all, how you doing there, prune face? Good to see you again. Yeah, you finally figure out how to smarten up, how to make this show just a little better, and that's by starting off with the Midnight Rockers on here. You're here. Yeah, well, give me this. Just go sit down. First thing I want to say about the CWA, as you're taking advantage of the Midnight Rockers right off, you got a couple, you got a pair of four-star quality men, and you're taking advantage of it. And for all you idiots around here and out there that don't know what a four-star quality man is, let me explain to you real quick. You get a star for every great quality you have. And when it comes to good looks, Sean and I get the first star. When it comes to great bodies, Sean and I get our second star. And when the bedroom door closes and the lights go down low, we get two stars. That makes us four star quality men. But that doesn't make us stupid enough to know, not know that what you're doing is wrong by stripping us of the title, isn't that right? Yeah, first of all, Lance, you come out here and say, former Southern Tag Team Champions, but let's not forget to mention that nobody beat the Midnight Rockers. Let's not go overboard. The one team that everybody put their hopes and dreams in, the King Jerry Lawler and Bill Dundee, are not the World Tag Team Champions. No siree. It's still the Midnight Rockers. So what are we doing here, pal? We're having a tournament for the Southern Tag Team title. That's exactly right. That we were never beaten for. Okay, we can understand that. The way I see it, the favorites in this, in this Southern Tag Team tournament has got to be the king and the superstar. I would think so. And what Marty and I usually do to get ready for a team is we watch a lot of tapes. And I want you to show one That's tape record. that Marty and I find us Especially fight. You don't like it, dude. This is some of the tapes you've been looking at. Have we got the tape? Come on, let's roll. Have we got it now? Oh, wait just a minute. Okay. Oh, this is the Austin Idol. Yeah, okay. Austin Idol's on this show right now. thrilled you guys there you go that's just like that's what we ought to do you that way lance yeah. <laughs> well, i'll tell you what well, that, that right there is the best piece of footage i've ever seen you really like the that. king has never looked better in his whole career i'll tell you what jerry lawler and bill dundee if by chance you two come out the winners of this Southern Tag Team Tournament. At the end of the night, you gotta face the Midnight Rockers. 
And what you just saw right there, what you just saw right there, Jerry Lawler, is going to be a picnic compared to what the Midnight Rockers are going to do to you. And by, by some stroke of luck, if somebody else comes out the winners of this tag team tournament, you guys are going to get it because the Midnight Rockers are not playing games anymore. You took something that we owned. Nobody has beaten us in the four months that we've been here. The Midnight Rockers are undefeated. So what are you doing? You're taking things away from them. And now the Midnight Rockers are going to start making examples of all these geeks around here. And I'll tell you what, once again, once again, we're going to show the promotion what kind of champions we are. What we're going to do, what we're going to do is give these two guys right here today a world title match. Something these two guys obviously <laughs> have never gotten. You mean you're willing to make this? Now don't say it if you don't mean it. I mean it. I'll tell you what, these two guys right here have never been in the ring with champions and they're going to get their first, undeserved yes, but their first world title match right here in this match. In this match. In this match. Okay. Okay. Hey, 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 let me tell you something. Hey, 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 I, I want to remind you. Of, hey, no, don't run off. Listen to this. Just sit down and control your Once upon a time, the assassins who had the tag championship belt said the same thing. We look like the Ken Raper was one of the team. The other was Robert Reed. And they ended up losing it. Go okay. Hey, whoa! If you, guys, you guys do worse, if you guys mean now. it's a title shot, put your belts down here, and we'll we'll uh, we'll have them. Right? Hey, I'm not opposed to that at all, Dave. Uh, they talk about lightning striking twice in the same spot. Chen Raper was one of the guys that was involved in a stunning upset where we had new champions in there. I remember the day well, yep. and uh, it was uh, just gross overconfidence, uh, kind of like we're seeing exhibited by the Midnight Rockers, as a matter of fact, that led to the uh, title match, and it's that's what it's going to be, I guess. Yep, they're the ones that World said it. title match. All right, introducing, well, we'll go ahead and uh, referee the sound about, you know the Midnight Rockers, Shawn Michaels, Marty Jannetty, total of 462. In there right now, that's Ricky Nelson out of Knoxville, Tennessee, his partner Ken Raper out of Memphis. Together they weigh 436, and the World Tag Team titles on the line. Shawn Michaels breaks clean. He walks away. He says, boy, I'm a heck of a guy. <laughs> I'm telling you. I don't know. You're talking about gross overconfidence, man. That is even too mild for these two guys. Yeah. I've seen a lot of cocky guys, but I'll tell you, these two, look at this. Ricky Nelson over the top. Scoops him, slams him. Gets Marty Janetti, puts him down. Big drop kick on Sean. Another drop kick, and Marty Janetti is down. Uh-huh. Yeah. The world champions are out on the floor. Yeah, the world champions. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I made a mistake earlier. This is this is not. We are we're not we're not allowed to. Oh no! This is not a world tag team match. You guys. No no we don't have the authority. You got to go through contracts. Uh, for that. You said it. It's on it's on tape. We've got it on tape. You said it. These belts are sitting right here. You're the one that brought it up. Nobody else. You better get back in there and save it all for these guys. Looks like you got your hands full. They were almost counted out while they were out here changing their minds. Marty Janetti got back under the ropes just before the referee got to a 10 count. Ricky Nelson, Shawn Michaels squaring off. Boom, tie it up. Look at that Nelson. Boy, this kid moves good. Here comes Ken Raper, takes a tag. Ken is the bigger of the two of Nelson and Raper. Good shoulder buck by Ken Raper. Shawn Michaels on the mat. I don't think he thought he would be there today when he was out here running his mouth earlier. Hey, let me tell you, I believe we can make it stick. We've had this little experience before. They said it is a world title match. Put the belts right here on the table, and that's what it is. Oh, boy. Genetti laced him. Scoops. Slams. Ken Raper, quick tag. You know, and the sad thing, Dave, we've said it a thousand times, uh, the attitude gets in the way of, look at that, mm, that double DDT, cram 10 down, one, two, three, and that's all there was to it. Well, 
the dream was there for a bit as Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty retained the final match, right? Yeah. It is just that oh, easy, lads. I see. Another successful title like I defense. said before, right. learn to announce the way we wrestle and you'll be all right. Marty Jannetty, Shawn Michaels come up with the win over Ricky Nelson and Ken Raper. Two minutes, 36 seconds of time. Okay. Well, that's not all of it. we got plenty more. We're going to be back with more action coming up in a moment. Coliseum this Wednesday night. I'm talking about the one night Southern Tag Tournament to establish a new tag champions. The uh, Midnight Rockers, of course, stripped of one of the belts holding the world tag titles. Seven matches in all. It'll all take place. And by the time the night is over, there will be a new champion. One of the teams that will be going in there will be a very formidable team of gorgeous Gary Young and Max formidable. Payne. Yes, formidable. You said the right words, Lance. Formidable. Do you know who your yes. opponents are? I know who my opponents are. One of the all-time greats. Well, Jerry Lawler, Bill that, Dundee. Lance, I was going to say that. I was going to say that. Jerry the King Lawler. Lawler and Superstar Bill Dundee, you right. are the top two opponents in this whole tournament, bar none, except for one exception, baby. I've got Mr. Devastation, Max Payne himself, and you've got the gorgeous one. Now, gorgeous one right now is walking around without no heavyweight title. That's simply because, Mr. Lawler, you've been running around, you've been, you've been hiding from me, but we've got a tag team match coming up. We're going to show you what it's like. We are going to be the champions. I guarantee it. I want to let my man Max here talk about pain and destruction, baby. Give it to me, Daddy. That's all I care about, man, is hurting people. Hurting people. So Tell readjust them, them belts. Tell Call them. a geriatric ambulance. Tell them what you're going to do. Max and Gary have come Ooh. to town, and we're going to tear it up. Yeah. Well, get by Lawler and Dundee in that first round. They ready. certainly will be big, heavy favorites. Wednesday night, the tournament in Evansville. Introducing Lee Sculpture Day. Okay, we uh, have the large and awesome team coming out here, gorgeous Gary Young and Max Payne. It's going to be a one fall, 10 minute time limit match. Working out in the ring right now. Team of Rodney Napper and David Johnson stepping through the ropes at a total of 553 pounds out of Salt Lake City, Utah, Max Payne, and out of Houston, Texas, Gary Young. This match will be a one ball. Ten minute time limit match. Referee is Jerry Calhoun. I sure wish you'd get it right, Dave. That's yes. gorgeous. Gorgeous Gary, Gary Young. Young. He's starting yeah. out. By his uh, own declaration, gorgeous. Gary Young. That's Rodney Napper in there. Uh, on paper, it's a long day ahead for Rodney Napper and David Johnson. Oh, really? Hey, Young is big enough, but look at the guy that just took over, Max Payne. And I mean, oh. strong strong and he put Napper down and bounced him out of the middle of that ring. 303 pounds worth of Max Payne. This is the guy that we showed you a little clip earlier that put Billy Travis out of action. Napper's head pounded into the top turnbuckle tag. Gorgeous Gary takes over double whip and turns all the way over. I mean flipped him a complete circle in the middle of the ring. Yeah, you called it right. It would be merciful if it was less than a long day. Gorgeous Gary slams Napper in the corner. He tags David Johnson and David trying to fire back at uh, Gary Young. He's just too big, too strong. Gorgeous Gary out of Houston, Texas, and Big Max Payne in Salt Lake City, Utah. Teaming up together. David Johnson pounded hard with that forearm. Look at this. Picked him up, snapped him down. Boy, he hit him with that belly-to-belly -belly suplex and uh, just slammed him down hard. David Young. I mean, 
David Johnson uh, taking a shot and a half from Gorgeous Gary as he comes into the ring. David still trying to fight his way back into this match and get started. They really have never gotten started, but David's trying. Look at this. Off the slingshot of the ropes. Catches him, takes him up in the air, and a big power slam. Boy, doing battle with this Max Payne is just oh, right into the ropes. Johnson across the way, and Max Payne. David was going to try to climb up on the ropes and get some leverage up top on him. He jumped straight up at Payne. And again, he had him in the uh, bear hug, wheeled him around. Wait a minute. He didn't go for the no, three. Picked him up at a two count. Yep. They're trying to make the day longer than it should be for David Johnson and Rodney Knapp. Big splash from Payne. Two, three. Mercifully, it is over, and Max Payne and gorgeous Gary Young lived up to what the expectations were. They came through with a very easy victory over the team of Napper and Johnson. Three minutes, one second, and all Young and Max Payne, no doubt about it. We got more of it. We're going to take time out. Be back in a moment. entire first round of the tournament coming up Wednesday night. Let me tell you about some of the action around the territory. Looking off in the distance, Sunday, February the 28th, Fort Knox, Kentucky at the Sadowski Fieldhouse. 3 p.m. is the time on that one. Thursday, February the 25th, Henryville, Indiana at the high school. And February the 19th at Madisonville, Kentucky at Browning Springs Middle School. Coming down to next weekend, we're talking about Friday, February the 12th, Litchfield, Kentucky at the Grayson County High School. And and on Thursday, February the 11th, Charleston, Indiana, right there at the high school. Now, Wednesday night, even closer than any of them, February the 10th, the first round of the Southern Tag Tournament, Bruise Brothers against the Doctors of Rock, the Zebra Warriors against the Nightmare, and Scott Hall, Jeff Jarrett, Manny Fernandez against Jimmy Jack Funk and T. Joe Kahn, Max Payne, Gary Young against Lawler and Dundee. Those are the first round matches. Be there Wednesday. A rundown of the uh, top point uh, holders for the Renegades Rampage uh, tournament that will run from now until June, and uh, it's a big $250,000 tournament that's taking place. We've got those point totals. One of the names that you will find tied at the top, there are three wrestlers that are tied at the top, one of them is Big Scott Hall, and uh, that doesn't come as any surprise to a lot of people that this big guy from Orlando, Florida, is uh, some some kind of wrestler and a half. How you doing? What do you say, big man? Hey, uh, you got a uh, tournament coming up. The Southern Tag Belts were vacated, and you and Ken Wayne, the nightmare, um, I gotta tell you, when you look at the two of you, it doesn't look like this would make an uh, make an ideal tag team, or at least just on the physical appearance of it. But boy, you gave the Midnight Rockers not only all they wanted, more than they wanted, and really, I thought you had the world belts around your waist. Well, thank you, Lance. And you know, I've had that feeling before of having those AWA world belts around my waist. You know, before Jerry Lawler and Bill Dundee were the champions, before the Midnight Rockers were the champions, there was another team that was the champions, and it was Scott Hall and Kurt Hennig. Yep. Now, Kurt Hennig may have strayed and gone his own way. He's still successful. He's still a world champion. Now, a lot of people said Kurt Hennig and Scott Hall didn't have anything in common. You know, one guy was big and strong, one guy was small and an excellent wrestler. But that's kind of the same thing that Kenny Wayne and I present to all our opponents. I feel we cover all the bases, you know. I got that power attack and more of an aggressive you know, pounded out style, style. Kenny Wayne has that good high-flying aerial style. I feel together that we make a real good team. Hey, hey, hey. Sissy boy, why don't you get in the ring right now? Why don't or shut your trap on? Because there's no team as awesome as DJ Khan and Jimmy Jack Buck. You You're just it? another sissy, just like the rest Come of them back there, just like Jeff Jarrett and Jerry Lawler and that sissy-loving Fernandez. Get in the ring. 
Come on. Come on, you Come get on, in the ring. You're the one up there, Scott. How about going around behind the desk and stay with me for commentary on this match? I'm sorry, but I mean, what can you expect? Like, you know, like I want to say, man, you know, this Southern Tag Team belt's on the line. And as things are really heating up around here, people are coming from everywhere. Scum is crawling out of the woodwork. Everybody wants a shot at those belts. Come on, come on, Scott. No, don't. Just ignore him. Come on back here with me. Scott, stick around with me, will you? No, no. Come on. Let, let, just let it pass for the time. You'll get your chance. Out. Come on back here and let's let Davey introduce the match. Dave? Got a one full 10 minute time limit match here at a total weight of 519 pounds. Both out of Arkansas, Alan Reynolds and William the Freezer Thompson going against them at a total of 505 pounds from Singapore, T. Joe Khan, and from Amarillo, Texas, Jimmy Jack Funk. One fall, 10 minute time limit match. Jerry Calhoun, the referee. Well, this, uh, this could be an interesting uh, thing because I think Jimmy Jack Funk and Tijo got their attention more on you, Scott, than they do on the guys in the ring, and they better pay attention to what they're doing. Oh, boy, he blasted Reynolds with that uh, chop, Tijo. Tijo's a big muscular guy himself, though. He's nowhere near the stature of you, but he's strong. You can tell that uh, he's put a lot of work in on that body. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, Lance. I've had the opportunity to cross paths with Tijo Khan before. When I was in Florida wrestling there, I saw him come through the area. He's got really an unorthodox kind of style. It's hard to predict what Tijo may do next. Sometimes I think he doesn't even know for sure, but he's certainly dangerous. And Funk, he comes from that long tradition of wrestling, the Funk family. They are an awesome team. I got to give it to them. Uh, interesting comment you made, Scott. Uh, that when you when a guy is an unorthodox wrestler, it, he may not uh, have all the physical tools or background or something. But with an unorthodox style, it does make it particularly hard to wrestle against a guy like that. Doesn't it? it sure does. You know, I can't say it enough, Lance. Things that seem to really be heating up around here. Everybody's going crazy. I tell you, when you put titles on the line. It means so much prestige. It puts you in that higher tax bracket. It seems to attract pretty women, a nice lifestyle. Everything I certainly want in my life. And I, I guess everybody else is gunning for the same thing. Seems to be driving some people crazy in the case of Jimmy Jack Funk. Well, I, uh, I would hate to disagree. I would say that the crazy got there before this tournament did in Jimmy Jack Funk's case. This guy, boy, he, I'm not really, you hear about not playing with a full deck or both oars in the water. I sometimes wonder about this guy. Reynolds is, is, a, is a good young prospect. He just, he's just being, opening himself up. He's charging in where he should be having made Maybe a little bit more caution, and T. Joe's got him back over on the rope. Huh. Big elbow from T. Joe Khan. I just want to check with you on one thing, Lance. I heard the announcement earlier. It's true that the winner of the Southern Tag Belts gets a shot at the A.W.A. World Belts. That's correct? Hey, Amen. You're absolutely right, Scott. And. Uh, I can see the flash in your eyes right now because I remember the, uh, the last time that you, you and Kenny Wayne met the Rockers. I've never seen two more stunned champions in all my life. They didn't know what to do with you. Well, that's one thing the Midnight Rockers have to think about every time they step in the ring. They're the world champions. When you're facing the world champions, you just seem to have that extra adrenaline. You know, every night the world champions are two. He got it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. That's going to be it, and the win is going to uh, go to the team of T. Joe Khan and Jimmy Jack Funk as T. Joe throws him out on the floor. No need for that. Jimmy Jack picks up the uh, chair and comes over and slams it down. Now, there's no excuse for that. Get these guys out of here for crying out loud. I got to say You know the way the pairings are, Scott. There's a very good possibility that you guys could, if you win your first match, 
and and you drew the youngest team in the tournament, the Bruise Brothers, in your first match. And and I and I don't think I'm saying anything out of school. You will be the favorite. There's a good good prospect that you guys may meet, Jimmy Jack Funk and T. Joe Khan, if they can win theirs. Well, you can't say it enough, Lance. All the top talent is going to be involved in this tournament. Certainly, T. Joe T. Joe Khan, Jimmy Jack Funk, they're right up there at the top. You got Jeff Jarrett, the Raging Bull, of course, Jerry Lawler, Bill Dundee, Kenny Wayne, Scott Hall, the Midnight Rockers, the World Champions are going to be there. Everybody's going to be there. Should be a super tournament. I'm geared up about it. I'm pumped up about it. I can't wait to get with Kenny. We've been watching tapes. We've been training hard. We're really excited about it. We want everybody to come out and see some great matches. Okay, good luck to you, partner. We'll be looking forward and keeping an eye on that team of Scott Hall and the Nightmare. Time out. Back in a moment. on championship wrestling. Jeff, son of a gun, you're by yourself here today. Yes, sir, Lance. Uh, I tried to get here, tried to get to you a little earlier. Uh, as you know, a couple weeks back, Manny got hit by uh, T. Joe Kahn and uh, Jimmy Jack, and uh, he's still under... Uh, yeah, with that metal glove. That's right. He's still under doctor's supervision, and the uh, doctor didn't think it'd be the best, uh, best thing for him to be here today. I'm sorry I didn't get to you earlier, but... Uh, I'm willing to wrestle, and I'll wrestle one of the executioners in a single match, if you See don't. See if we can make it a single match, yeah, then? I'd, I'd love that. Okay, you well, get Eddie or... Is he going to be uh, available, you think, for uh, the tournament, the Southern Tag oh, Tournament, yeah, when it yeah, comes he's up? Gonna, he's going to be there. Okay. The don't you worry. Okay. Right. Here comes Jimmy Jack Funk. Hey. Oh, no. You guys have had your time out here. Our throat is hurt too bad again, huh? And little Jeffy Wimpy is out here by All himself. All right, Jimmy Jack. Huh? Where's your big bad bull partner today, huh? Where's he at? Why don't you guys huh? get out of here? Where's he at? You're crazy. Jimmy Jack Funk. T. Joe Khan throwing Jeff Jarrett up in the ring because they feel like two on one. They think they can handle. Whoa! Oh, and up. Manny Fernandez, the bull, rips that metal trace can right over the head of Funk and Khan. You better put that on your head. Jack and T. Joe Khan disappear. <laughs> Look at that trash can. He made it one single piece in there. Oh, he didn't look like he was laid up too bad. That's right. It, it doesn't take much to fool two simple minds. And I guarantee you one thing. That's just one short surprise, guys. You wait to this Southern tournament, and the Bulls got a lot more tricks in his bag, I guarantee oh, we're you. Glad to see you. Man. You know, an old saying that I live by, nice boys don't like rock and roll, and I'm not a nice boy. And I'll tell you another thing, Jimmy Jack Funk and T. Joe Cobb, you come up here and you mess with my throat, then you mess with my man. Well, I'll tell you what, baby, when you do that and you take it in the palm of your hand to be bad, then you're dealing with the baddest there is. Because when it comes to getting in that squared circle, there is awesome tricity in the air because one Jimmy Jack Funk, one T.J. Khan is going to duel with the baddest duel in town. That's me and Jeff Jarrett, baby. So you come Memphis, you find out what the team of the 80s is all about. And that's me and Jeff, because we're going to come to town to take your name, and maybe you're going to end up all choked up, Daddy. Well, obviously, the throat is a little better than it was. Certainly last week, man, he couldn't show up. And this week, uh, I got the feeling they bagged him right into that, uh, Jeff. I mean, uh, Dave, I was thinking about Jeff in there. He was just setting them up to come in and figuring that they'd pull some kind of stuff like that. Yeah, I think you're right because, uh, boy, Manny wasted no time. They threw Jeff in the ring, and he was right there and yeah. uh, ready to go. <laughs> that's, oh. that's what's left that, of the that's trash That's the can. trash can. Boy, mm. he ripped him not oh. once, but I mean several, several blows right on top of the head. He, he sure did. doubled that thing up and Funk and T. Joe went flying out of here. That's what we better do for a minute, but we're going to be back in just a moment. Okay, we 
Wednesday night, Evansville Coliseum jumps with the Southern Tag Team Tournament, seven matches in all. We're going to zero in on one of those matches in there that'll have the King and the Superstar going against Max Payne and Gary Young. Didn't draw any easy first round, Billy. Well, that's right. On paper, it looks great, but they didn't draw nothing easy either because the King and the Superstar have been here a long time, and we've had a taste that they never had. We've had a taste sure. of them AWA belts, and we'd like to have them again. So all I can tell you is Max Payne and Gary Young, you didn't bite off nothing easy either. The King and the Superstar coming to show you just how bad we are. you got to have a little personal thing with that pain after what happened uh, on the show here. Well, you know, uh, he's big, he's strong, and we're just going to see just how bad he is right there in Evansville. Like Bill said, uh, I'm sure they're looking at this as a match that they've, they've long awaited, especially Max Payne. Well, I can guarantee you it's not going to be any picnic because we want those Southern Tag Team titles back around our waist. Off there, off of the Midnight Rockers. Everybody's glad of that, and we're going to get them on some champions that the people can be proud of, some fight, fighting champions that doesn't have to take every shortcut in the book. So Max Payne, Gary Young, get ready because you're going down just like all the rest of them. And Lance, what's uh, a little interesting, we get past those guys, we may have to face Manny Fernandez and Jeff Jarrett in the next right. round and it could get real interesting down there Wednesday but one thing I'm going to tell you Bill knows this better than anybody friendship goes out the window when titles are on the line and that's exactly what's on the line Wednesday night the Southern Tag Team Championships and the Superstar and the King are going to win them mm -hmm. okay I was just glancing down here the uh, standings on the the very early standings I need to point that out because we're talking about a tournament that goes all over Why don't you get out, out here, here right you now? Out we here. want them out here right now. Where is that? You're not going to hit us in the headless. We want them out What I would like for you we to do is just out. take off and get on out of here. You rant and rave. You've been out here. They're going to pay. That sissy and that sissy lover are going to pay right now. We want them out here. We You're not going to get anybody we out here. We want to finish it once and for all. Get him out here. You got in here. You jump on him. Yeah, pick up a chair. Get him out here. Okay, I'll tell you what. You get there ain't going to be no more TV show. There ain't going to be no more TV show. We are taking control. We are taking control. This is our TV show. Jeff Jett, Manny Fernandez, get out here. We want them out here now. We want them out here. This is our TV show. We want those sissies out here. Get that sissy and that sissy number out here. Get them out here now. Now. We want them out here now. We want them out here. Get them out here. We want them out here now. We want them out here now. Get those sissies out here. We want them. We're not like going nowhere. There's not going to be no more wrestling. We want them sassy lovers. We want them out here now. We want them out here. Hey, we ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. Hey, we ain't going nowhere. Hey, we ain't going nowhere. Hey, this is our TV time. We are going to go. We are going to go until Jeff Jarrett and Manny the Raging Cow gets in the ring. No, we ain't going nowhere. Hey, you want me to hit you? You want me to hit you right now? Get him out here. We want him out here right now. Get him out here now. Get him out here. We want them sissies out here. They're going to pay. They're going to pay for what they did to us. Get them sissies out here. If you lay a hand on me, you'll never wrestle again. Hey, I get said we're not going to wrestle. Right now. Both of you. Hey, you don't give we want that to be like this again. I don't care what you want. Give me that right out of here. You get out of here. Hold up. I'll tell you what. There is drink. We are going to get out of here. Hey, what you better do. If you don't get out of here, both of you, get on out of here. Get out of here. Boy, I'm telling you, thank you for coming out of here, you ridiculous guys. I'm telling you, those son of a gun. No, you got that right. What do you expect? I don't think either one of them got a full brain between them.
Join us while we keep house here, friends. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, boy. I don't know where. Yeah, there's. Let me have it. Thank you, Dave. Man, oh, man, you talking about. Okay. Sort out the papers. Get all these papers back together here. Yeah, okay. We've got another match coming up. Yeah, we're going to do the rant. Let me get, well, I'll leave that for the second. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, we're looking at the tournament standings, as we were saying before. Remember, this is a tournament that goes all the way up till June, and it's a total prize of $250,000 for all of the positions on it. Uh, it is one where the winner of a tournament gets 10 points uh, with a pin or a submission. The uh, disqualification is a five-point win. There's certainly a premium for winning in here because the loser gets zero. If you're in a draw, you end up uh, getting two points, and that's all. If it's a count out where both guys are outside the ring, that's a two-point situation in there. Here's what the uh, standings look like right now and just the very early stages of it. A couple of matches are involved. Scott Hall, Max Payne, and gorgeous Gary Young are all tied with 20 points. Bill Dundee with 12 points is in uh, fourth position. There are five wrestlers tied at 10 points. Uh, the Bruise Brothers, Ricky Nelson, T. Joe Kahn, Jimmy Jack Funk all have 10 Nightmare Ken Wayne has accumulated seven points. Shawn Michaels have four po has four points. Uh, so that we are in a position where there's a big bunch up near the top all close together in there. And remember, you can pick up ten points, bam, by winning a any one of the Renegade Rampage matches. But at the moment, Scott Hall, Max Payne, and gorgeous Gary Young are the ones tied at the top with 20 points apiece. Okay, it's time for the Renegades Rampage trivia question. Ah, uh, that's right. Boy, what a pile of mail came a in. Bunch. Huh? A bunch. Last week's question. Yeah. All right, pay attention. Now, what you do is if you think you have the answer to the Renegades trivia question, there are going to be 18 weekly winners. And, gee, there's nice uh, Renegades uh, T-shirts and and uh, a set of uh, Renegades mugs and very, all kind of nice prizes for the weekly uh, winners. There's going to be 18 of those. There will be a name drawn out at the end of the 18 uh, weekly winners, and they're going to receive a round trip flown to wherever the site of the Renegades finals is going to be. They'll be given 500 bucks spending money. It's just going to be really a snazzy little son of a gun, and you will want to participate if you know the answer to the trivia question. Now, when you send it in, be sure and send it with the names uh, Renegades Contest or Renegades Rampage or whatever, Renegades Trivia Question, so that uh, you will have, have the opportunity to be eligible for it. Let's take a look at the question right now. This has to do with a couple of guys named Lance Russell and Dave Brown. Here's the official question. What? are the nicknames of Lance Russell and Dave Brown coined by Sam Bass and Jerry Lawler. What are the nicknames of Lance and Dave coined by Sam Bass and Jerry Lawler? I think I remember those. I am yeah. afraid that I remember those names too. <laughs> now, what you need to do is put Renegades Rampage Trivia Contest and send it to WMC TV TV 5, 1960 Union Avenue, Memphis, Tennessee, 38104. You see the address? Put it down. All of the winners will be, winners only, will be put in a barrel. One of the winners uh, who have the correct answer will be drawn out, and they will be the winner for the weekly contest. The 18 will qualify for the overall. Well. That's a question that's not so difficult, unfortunately. That's, that's true. That's okay. true. <laughs> we say we get in here. and uh, Before he goes to the ring, we want to get Sweet Brown Sugar, and then we're going to go into our final match. We'll see Sweet Brown Sugar in action. This actually is the first time that we've had a chance to meet him. Uh, we've heard a lot about him. This guy has a... Uh, we're, we got all kind of go. gadgets caught up around here, David. Uh, we've heard a lot about him. He had a great reputation out of Texas. That's his home. 
Brown Sugar, come on over here, partner. Yeah, we just let this one hang right there. Okay, partner, here he is, uh, Sweet Brown Sugar. We're glad to have you here. As I was just telling the folks, I've heard a lot about you. Your reputation precedes you here. You had a great reputation in Texas and in Florida. We're tickled to have you in the championship wrestling area. You know something? It's truly a great pleasure for the CWA to bring me in here to professional wrestling. Now, I understand this is one of the hottest beds of competition anywhere in the world right now, which is the very and only reason why Sweet Brown Sugar is here. Because for the fans that don't know me here, this is my 16th year in professional wrestling. And I've been around the world twice, and I don't go into any area unless the competition is worth me being here, my time and effort. Now, I want to say a special hello to all the fans, any race, creed, and color here in the Memphis area. It is truly my pleasure to be here in the CWA, and I pledge to give you my 100% best each and every time I step in the ring. And you know, I've noticed something from an intelligent observation. I have sit back there and watched that monitor since I arrived at this TV station this morning. I've seen you guys mishandle and character out of line for the CWA. I don't think this is character for professional wrestling. I've seen a lot of people out here running their mouth. I'm not going to call no names, you know who you are. But I got a message for all of you. When you come looking for me, for whatever reason it is, don't remember one thing. I don't give a what we do. You bring your lunch, because it's going to be a long night and afternoon. Okay. Sweet Brown Sugar, good luck. We want to see you in the action right now. We have not had a chance to see him here in this area, and so we're getting uh, ready to see it. He does come in with a lot of experience and a great background, and we're ready to go to the ring for the introductions. Dave? All right, this match goes to the expiration of time. Introducing out of Memphis, Tennessee, 216 pounds with Nate the Great in his corner, Keith Eric. And going against him out of Dallas, Texas, at 230 pounds, Sweet Brown Sugar. Match to the expiration of time, Jerry Calhoun, the referee. We are just about ready to get it underway here. Oh, Keith Eric jumping it from behind. Brown Sugar shaking hands with some of the folks in the crowd. And Keith Eric, Nate, uh, Nate the Rat, Nate the Great, take your pick. No, oh, Keith Eric jumping. Look at that. Nate up there. And Brown Sugar moves out of the way. And Keith Eric has just nailed his manager. Brown Sugar comes back. Right hand to the midsection. Sugar doesn't even have the jacket off yet, and he's going about business, I can tell you that. This is the kind of veteran pro that this guy is. Sugar going after Keith Eric in our finale here. Boom. In the air, scoops him. Body slam, and down goes Keith Eric. Sweet Brown Sugar up on that second rope, waiting for Eric to get up on his feet. There he is. Woo! What a drop kick. Kicks himself back up. Launches over. One, two, three. And what a acrobatic, athletic gentleman. Sweet Brown Sugar. Well... It got started a little quicker than we thought, uh, Brown Sugar, but son of a gun, you took care of business once it got underway. Excuse me, could I have your mic? Now, I don't like to whip on a brother like that. But now, when they associate themselves with somebody like that dude there, then they got to go. But I want to say hello to all the brothers and sisters. And if you're tired of all this jiving and bull corning here in the CWA, then you come and check me out and buckle up. Because I mean, I'm fixing to bring the action to Memphis like Memphis ain't never had it before. Think I'm lying. 
All right, Sweet Brown Sugar, we we'll wish him a lot of luck in the area. He got off to a great start, very impressive in his action in there, but one match does not make a career in this territory. No, that's true. you got to believe that. Of course, we've seen some of them that never had but one match. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I think he'll be back, though. Minute three seconds of time on as he took the victory. Yes, he did, and it was uh, Keith Eric who started the whole affair by jumping him while he was shaking hands with some of the fans. We're going to take time out. We'll be back in a moment. jump from behind by Keith Eric and he made uh, short work of Eric in there ended up with a good pin and a minute. Get that jump back out here. Get that jump. You come to me by hey in Mississippi somewhere cut in here cotton picker. That's a fluke. That's what that was. That man can't get away with that. He ain't no way he could pin my man in less than whatever he did. Get him back out here. That's a fluke is what that is. I guarantee it. He come up here with me by hey in Mississippi wherever he come from. He somebody. He did uh, he did in fact, get the pen in there. Oh, you want some more sweet brown sugar? Well, I tell you what, we don't have much time, but I'll guarantee you one thing: uh, if you have a repeat of that first ball in there, we got plenty of time. Get up in the ring. You just get up in the ring. We'll see. Yeah, Randy's going to get him right now, and here he comes. All he needs a referee. And in a couple of minutes that we got left, we will fill it, Dave, with action. Uh, Keith Eric jumped rushing. him again. Huh? Yeah, Eric yeah. jumped him again. That's how the first ball started. Eric jumped him. Oh. Flying off the turnbuckle. Bam, look at him. Look at him. Even shorter than the first one. Much right? shorter. Yeah, the first one. The first one was a minute three, and the second one was 15 seconds. 15 seconds it was. Keith Eric said he'd never been pinned that quick before. He has now twice. Hey, listen, uh, you know the old saying, uh, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. That's true. Keith Eric said he couldn't do it, and by golly, he did it up there. He, he popped it off in good shape. Boy, 15 seconds worth, and again, Keith Eric jumped him uh, before the bell sounded. We've seen Eric do that before. I guess he figures that's uh, one way he can gain a quick advantage, but it sure doesn't do him any good. Yeah, we've just seen you lose two falls that quick, Keith. The referee didn't even get a chance to get in the ring, Harley. That was Barely. fairly quick yeah, in there. He over. just said ring the bell, turned around, started counting. That's just about how that last one was. So uh, Sweet Brown Sugar, very impressive in his debut here on Championship Wrestling. Dave, how about the rest of the card today? All right. We had the Midnight Rockers in here, Shawn Michaels, Marty Jannetty. They were in very confident of victory over the team of Ricky Nelson and Ken Raper. So confident, they said, we are going to make it a world tag title match today. Well, they tried to change their mind in the middle of the match. Yeah. But then they did win the match, and then they said, oh, yeah, it was. It was a world title match. We've just defended it. So, uh world title match i guess it was if you want to look at it that way a successful title defense oh yes after they won it they after came they over and it. said well just another win on the world title defense that's right for sean michaels and marty Janetti, the midnight there. rockers they are indeed very large team of max Payne and gorgeous gary young defeating david johnson and rodney napper this one was all max Payne and gary young the other yep. team just too young and uh, not enough size did not really have uh, much uh,